this is CP readings and hi Scorpio let's see what messages are going to show up for you guys what do we have for Scorpio Scorpio in case this resonates there will be a reading about your person linked in the description box below and I am offering personal readings for some time so I have limited slots um, all the details will be in the description box um, so yeah let's see what messages want to show up for Scorpio show me what messages want to come through for Scorpio I'm getting that there's something about your friend circle okay some of you may get uh, communication from a friend or you could be visiting a friend soon I'm also seeing that there is some sort of communication there's like some sort of interaction here between you and somebody that I see okay I'm also getting that you have this energy of an explorer like you do not want to be uh, you do not want to bound yourself to things okay hmm I heard speaking your heart out okay let's see show me what's there for Scorpio okay so we have the justice the moon and the five of pentacles my god some of you may be dealing with a libra a cancer pisces or it could also be an earth sign towards virgo capricorn but okay i'm getting that a lot of you are in this energy scorpio where you're making the right decision for yourself and you're standing up for yourself there is somebody here who makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable okay and I feel like you're leaving it behind. Some of you are worried about your finances these days or you're trying to amp up your game when it comes to your finances. Okay. Um, I'm getting this energy of you choosing to keep a certain emotion to yourself and you feel like you would rather not open up about it. Um, we will see show me what's there for Scorpio show me what's there for Scorpio we have six of swords I absolutely see you uh, I absolutely see you walking away from something something that has made you feel uncomfortable something that has <sighs> this is something that has made you feel like you do not belong okay there is a sense of a transition here out with the old in with the new kind of an energy and whatever it is that you're leaving behind this is something that brought in a great deal of pain for you we have the wheel of fortune so things are definitely changing here for you but let's see death card yes absolutely a lot of you are letting go of a past connection okay I feel like in the past there was a lot of hope in this connection you really wanted to connect with this person you really wanted to make things happen but with the death the six of swords and the five of pentacles there's a very strong energy here of you leaving something behind or yeah letting go of something okay um let's see show me more please Ace of Swords, Six of Wands. You have a decision to make here. Oh. I also see somebody coming towards you. Bottom of the deck is Eight of Wands with the Tower. There could also be some sort of unexpected communication from somebody here. 
I'm really seeing for you that, you know, the time that is coming in, it has a lot of expansion and growth. And for some of you, I'm also seeing traveling or movement, okay? But you are very determined to leave something behind with the Hermit card here. I, I feel like a lot of you are healing, Scorpio. You're not wanting to repeat something from the past. You're in this energy of, you know what, I am done. I'm just not going to let this bother me the way that it did bother me in the past. So I feel like a lot of you are leaving that behind or you are, you're definitely letting go of that energy, okay? Hmm. Show me more, please. Show me more, please. Show me what this Ace of Swords and the Six of Wands is about. There is clarity and some sort of a truth coming out. Some of you are also wanting to build your own home or buy a home, okay? Or change uh, your location, maybe, I don't know. Six of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Cups and the Three of Swords. But that Ace of Swords here, I could see that that could be communication, okay? Some sort of a confession coming in from somebody with the Ace of Cups energy here, Scorpio. Uh, and it is from a pause person. Whoever this person is, I feel like they've been watching you, okay? Um, I feel like you're also interested in this person, but a lot of you are not. You, I feel like you're not going to be the one who initiates this. So you could be waiting for them to initiate contact with you. Then we have the Three of Swords here. Whatever it is that you're getting involved with, be very careful of not getting heartbroken again or opening another cycle. Because with the Hermit card, I already, I already see you healing. What is the Three of Swords? Five of Wands. See? Oh my God. There is somebody here you are choosing to walk away from. I don't know if this is... Uh, a friend, a lover, whatever this energy is with the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords, you're leaving something behind, okay? And a lot of you are also prioritizing your mental health with the Eight of Swords energy here. I'm seeing that whatever it is that you're choosing to walk away from, it, it brought in a great deal of uh, confusion for you. It also made you feel very stuck, okay, with the Three of Swords energy here and the Ten of Pentacles. I'm also getting that a lot of you, Scorpio, you need to be careful of who you're allowing in your energy right now, okay? Because if it has taken a long while for you to get that peace of mind, why would you open up a cycle in which you can get heartbroken again? You know, there is some sort of a new cycle that is starting for you. But make sure that you don't repeat the mistakes that you made in the past. That is where the hermit energy comes in with that sense of contemplation. I'm also seeing that you're going to be very passionate about something. You're going to be pursuing something very passionately. Okay. You also may feel very energetic to achieve things, to make things happen. Page of Wands to the Queen of Swords energy. Uh, I see you speaking your truth. Okay. I see you being clear about your priorities. And there's also a certain level of detachment here. Nine of Swords. I'm really getting that something has stressed you out with the world card, the Nine of Swords. And you, you ended the cycle because you felt like there is nothing better that you can do than to end that painful cycle. Okay. What is the advice for Scorpio? For now, I do see changes coming in for you, but this is more so like doing the inner work kind of an energy. There's also something very passionate that I see you pursuing. For some of you with the Six of Wands, Six of Wands is a card of victory and forward movement and success. So I also see a lot of you becoming very successful at what you do, okay? Um, hmm. Let's see. Show me more, please. Show me more, please. Four of Pentacles.
your advice here is to hold back, uh, not a pinnacle, slow and steady wins the race kind of an energy, being patient with the decisions that you make. Some of you also need to prioritize saving money. You know, Spirit is really telling you that the decision here is yours. Are you still willing to carry this burden or are you going to leave it behind? Sticking to your values with the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. It's like, okay. I feel like some of you also have a hard time saying no to people. And then sometimes you feel like people take advantage of you because of that. Okay. But let's see. Show me more for Scorpio. The reading about your person will be linked in the description box, Scorpio. Let's see. We have all eyes on you. They're not able to forget you in dating. There's somebody who has their eyes on you, Scorpio. And this person wants to date you. They may even ask you out on a date. And whoever this person is, they find you very attractive, okay? They're about to come towards you, Cassette, and I like you. Okay, there's somebody here who's replaying certain events in their head, okay? Especially how things used to be between you two. And with the I like you energy, it's, it's almost like this person is going to confess something to you. Whoever's coming towards you has been thinking long and hard about it. Okay. This is also a person who may feel like you are somebody who's out of reach for them. Okay, so we will have a look. Show me what's there for Scorpio. Expectation. Courtship. Expect a message from somebody. And this is related to dating. I see you in a very held back energy. I don't feel like you are willing to initiate things. But at the same time, some of you are very receptive to love. And with that courtship card here, I do see a date. Show me more. Ooh, a wealthy man and a main female. Oh my god, okay. Okay. So to me, it looks like there's a cycle here that's ending for you that was tough. But moving towards the future, there's somebody who is serious about you. This person may have a business of their own or they like, they look like there's somebody from the suits. <laughs> I don't know. But there is somebody coming towards you. Somebody who's serious about you about dating you and this is a new person this is a new person that's about it scorpio those were the messages that showed up for you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and check out the extended link below for further details take care and bye, -bye.